recent survey reveals men's attitudes towards seeing the doctor are changing. The pandemic may really be the reason. Dr. Fernando Sassin, a urologist with Glickman Urological and Kidney Institute at Cleveland Clinic, joins us this morning to talk a little bit more about it. Morning, doctor. Hi, how are you, Dave? Thank you for having me today. Thanks, thanks for joining us. It's, it's hard to find uh, too much good in some ways that have come out of the pandemic, but if more men are going to the doctor or connecting with their doctors, that, that could be a good development that we want to try to continue uh, as the pandemic hopefully at some point soon comes to an end. Yes, absolutely. And we developed this survey, this campaign, mention it, in order to raise not only awareness about the problems minority men may have, but also to educate and uh, prevent uh, problems uh, due to the fact that people may not be going to the doctors. When you talk specifically about minority men, maybe there's the hesitancy that we just for some reason over the years have seen all men have of, of going to get check out, checkups when they need it, and then other barriers that, that might be in place in certain other communities. And this campaign uh, tries to address both those problems. Absolutely. For example, me as a Hispanic, I perfectly understand that there are some uh, cultural barriers among Hispanic communities, especially men, uh, be feeling embarrassed or shy about uh, talking about, for example, sexual health problems or urological problems. So these type of campaigns are here for, uh, to help these, uh, these groups. Yeah, and I've just heard so many stories anecdotally and at times in my own life been guilty of not getting, getting the checkup or getting something looked at as quickly as we need to. And, and just one of the realities we need to embrace is <laughs> medically speaking, things just usually aren't just gonna get better. If there's something going on, uh, the sooner you get it looked at, the better. Yes, absolutely, and people have to be aware that we, we do not need to wait for symptoms to show up to, to seek health care. For example, uh, today we know that uh, erectile dysfunction, for example, can be a marker for heart problems. Uh, many times we see patients with urinary problems that they conceal, for example, metabolic problems like diabetes. So these are a few of the things that uh, people have to be aware of. And again, don't wait to have uh, symptoms to, to see the doctors or to access health care. That's right. Regular checkups, physicals, just the, kind of the rhythm of your life uh, as, you, as you go through it, make that a part of your life. I want to talk real quick about, like we said, during the pandemic, we see, we've seen a lot more of, of the, the visits uh, uh, over Zoom or the telemedicine visits. Going forward, what do you see, what, what can really be done uh, that way between men and their doctors and what, what types of uh, healthcare really does still need to be in person? Yes, one of the things we found in the survey is that two thirds of men actually had virtual visits over the last year. And here at the Cleveland Clinic, uh, um, you know, the number of uh, health, virtual health visits uh, jumped from less than 20,000 to more than a million wow. in the last year. So this, I think this may improve uh, access to health care, especially among those people who uh, have some of these barriers. For example, we saw that Hispanics uh, do not seek health care because they don't find time off of work. Uh, and these would eventually help, particularly those, those, those men. Yeah, and I would imagine making that initial connection through the telemedicine might maybe establish enough of a relationship that when a doctor says, well, we need you to come in for this or let's do, do these tests in person, hopefully it'd be a, a little more comfortable for men to come in and do that. Absolutely. Um, you know, Hispanics, for example, feel more embarrassed about talking these issues, but at some point, People may need uh, physical examinations on prostate checks, you know, so I think uh, a good mixture of both is, is what is coming down the road. Wonderful. Well, Doctor, where can we see more about this work or the, or the campaign if people want more information about it? Yes, absolutely. Please access clevelandclinic.org forward slash mention it. Wonderful. Dr. Fernando Sassin. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Th Thank you, Dave, for having me today. All right.